Hello ladies and gentlemen, Michael Tyler here with another free Vectric Project of the Month. This project is for March 2019 and I call it the Table Trellis. Basically it's a miniature trellis uh, used as a decorative item for a desktop, a bookshelf, maybe a side table, wherever you want to place it. So I've uh, designed this with the vCarve software, so it'll run with vCarve Pro, vCarve Desktop, or of course just, uh, the Aspire software as well. And I purchased this little silk plant, actually cut off a couple pieces off of a larger silk plant. Uh, bought this at the hobby store along with some of these, what well, they call them glass gems, and uh, filled that space up with the glass gems. So we've got the decorative carvings on the front panel and the uh, rear panel. They're actually identical, so they're just face panels. And uh, just to add a little more pizzazz to the design. So I hope you enjoy this project. As usual, you can log on to your VNCO account and download the PDF Illustrated Instructions. Uh, shows you step-by-step -step, um, how to put this together. It includes the project file. This is a single board project, it just takes a board that's uh, half an inch thick by five and a half inches wide by 24 inches long. So all the parts fit on a single board and it's designed to uh, go together really easily. I've cut a couple of pockets in the side panels and uh, a slot at the very bottom, the base of the uh, trellis. And so it all fits together like a glove. It's really easy to do. You can uh, do this in one day. Make them for gifts to give away or just use it for yourself. Of course, you could make multiples of these and sell them at craft shows, whatever you like. So I chose to use as the finish on mine uh, the natural, this is a select pine, a clear pine, and I just left it the natural finish. Of course, you could antique it, uh, paint it, apply stain, whatever you'd like, whatever your preference is. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. It'll uh, just show you how I went through all of the steps that are included in the PDF instruction, uh, putting it all together, sanding it up, uh, gluing it together, and uh, putting the vines and uh, glass gems inside the container. So this is Michael Tyler. Uh, enjoy the video. As usual, give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any other of the Vectric free projects of the month. Okay, I've got all the parts sanded up for the trellis and I just want to do a quick dry fit just to make sure everything's going to fit together all right. So the way that's going to go together, we'll put the trellis in the base, in the slot in the base, and then put the sides on. You got the pocket for the sides. And then uh, put the face parts on last. I'm just going to hold these together make sure it's coming together all right and it looks like it's going to be all okay so um, I'll go ahead and uh, apply the glue and then after the glue is applied I'll tape it together just to hold it until it dries
Okay, I've done some final sanding on the outside of the uh, box, and I'm just going to apply some of my thin seal coat. That's uh, half seal coat and half denatured alcohol, and it just gives a nice uh, base for your final finish. It'll absorb into the wood, seal the wood, and whether you choose to use a, a paint or a stain, especially on softwoods like this, it'll help even out the finish for you. So I'm gonna apply one coat, let it dry, sand it off a little bit, and then make a judgment whether or not I need a second coat and decide whether I'm gonna stain this or leave it natural or uh, paint it. You can finish this any number of ways, your choice. So I'll come back uh, when I've made that decision how to finish it and we'll proceed from there. Okay, I went ahead and put two coats of the 50-50 uh, denatured alcohol and uh, seal coat and then I sanded lightly with some fine, uh, fine sandpaper, 400 grit and overall. And as I'm looking at this, I think, you know, I, I like it natural. I'm going to leave it natural, so I'm just going to put the final clear coats on. So I'll put a few very light coats of uh, Krylon uh, gloss and then the very final coat I'll follow up with a Krylon uh, satin finish just to take some of that shine off. Okay, the clear finish is dry on my miniature trellis, the tabletop trellis. And I picked out a plant at the hobby store, an artificial sort of vine looking plant. I'm just gonna trim off some of these vines from the main stem and that way I'll be able to feed it through this uh, trellis a little bit easier. Probably only need a couple of them. And then I've got some of these uh, pink colored glass gems, they call them. Got those at the dollars or the uh, hobby store as well. So I'll take out a few of those and pour them into this container here. Whoops. There. And that'll be uh, just to fill up the us after I weave these vines in and out. And if this is being used on a desktop, it's probably going to be viewed from both sides, so you kind of want to check and see what it looks like on each side there. Okay, no rules on this, just uh, arrange these how you like, and then throw in some of these glass gems. You could use uh, florist moss or natural stone or marbles or whatever. Just want to get something in there to fill up that empty space where the vines are tucked in the box container. All right, I think that completes the table trellis. I hope you enjoyed this project. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and of course uh, as always you'll receive a PDF instruction along with this video. Pretty simple project. It's a single board project and uh, could be completed easily in one day. So it makes a nice little gift or uh, something you can use yourself. Maybe make a bunch of them to sell at craft shows, whatever. 
and then of course you can finish it however you like. I chose to leave this natural, so it's pretty quick and easy. All right, Michael Tyler signing off for now. We'll see you next month for another Vectric Project of the Month.